if we are not going to go for coups, is the IMF the solution? Are we going the right direction? Yes. So let's discuss it. Is the IMF the solution? Marcus Ibeyeboa, Dr. Marcus Ibeye, who was uh, the former committee chair of finance in parliament, says go to the IMF because whatever you hope to raise from the E-Levy uh, will not materialize. You just get $5 billion, But if you go to, uh, what do you call it, the IMF, you get some more. What do it, you say, what it, do you say to him? It's his opinion, which he's entitled to. Mm. But I'll disagree with him on the facts. That when the NDC went to the IMF, in 2015, mm. the 16th time we were going to the IMF, they were giving them $913 million over three years, performance-based. Mm. Now, the performance-based is cut spending, cut waste, increase revenue. These are the performance indices. That's right. Over three years, $913 million, less than a billion dollars. E-Levy can raise a billion dollars in a year. He says that is false. How does he determine that it's false? That is false How as does well. he determine it's false? Mm. How does he determine? He said you have it, estimated, but the reality <laughs> is that you're not going to get six point nine billion. His, his opinion mm. cannot be the reality beyond the scientific estimates of the finance ministry. So, so the advantage too is that you raise this money internally, and you can continue the programs that are enhancing the welfare of your people. You can continue to educate your people and infuse new skills into them. You can continue to construct your roads. Mm. You can continue to encourage employment. You can continue with your 1D, 1F factories. You can continue restructuring your SOE sector. You can continue to expand access to opportunities in the economy mm. whilst raising this money and investing.